You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome today to a video about Marketplace.tf. Now I wasn't planning on making this today, I was mostly actually planning on doing a video on uh, Nintendo and some of the scummy things that they've done the last couple of days. But this came up and I've realized that I need to talk about it. So Beer at Expense, a TF2 YouTuber, made a video yesterday talking about his TF2 items being robbed. And it's gotten, it's blown up a little bit, it's gotten quite a bit of views in the past day or so. Uh, and everybody's talking about it. I hopped on Discord this morning and people were talking about it. Uh, my buddy Wamo made a video on this same topic. In fact, let me pull it up. So, here it is right here. TF2 has been hacked, how to stay safe. So, basically in this video, Beard Expense shows that there was a trade that he had made to this person with all of these different items. All of these unusuals, all this different stuff and, and everything. And he never authorized this trade, he never actually made it. His items were just basically stolen. And he had no idea how. And so when he was streaming with Big Joey, which is one of his friends, another TF2 YouTuber, people in chat were talking about it being Marketplace.tf and that there was problems with the API and some sort of scam, etc., etc. So he thinks that it's now an issue with Marketplace.tf. Now, he, I'm going to make this clear, okay? I'm not throwing shade at Beard Expense because even right down here he says, I have no idea if Marketplace.tf had anything to do with how I got scammed, but it seems the most believable reason right now. So, I want to make this video to clear a few things up. You cannot have your items scammed just from using Marketplace.tf. The site was not compromised. There's no way that somebody hacked your API and can now use it to send unauthorized trades. It's not how any of that works. That's just science, fiction, cow fecal matter. Just like the whole TF2 virus thing was back in April. You guys remember that? You remember how everybody, you know, lost their stink over that and it turned out to be nothing? Kind of the same here. More likely what has happened is Bearded Expense used a site that looked like Marketplace.tf but was a phishing site. And he did some sort of trade with that. He exposed some personal information that allowed them to go in and then do that same trade with his account information. So it'd be very easy to do. You could go to some site that looked like marketplace.tf, ask you to sign in with Steam, you signed in, you gave them your username, your password, they then logged in your account and traded your items away. That's most likely what happened. So, and it's not because he's stupid. Anybody can make mistakes like that. But that's the most likely explanation for what happened. So in his video, he talks about like, you have like an API key and you'll need to reset that and change your account password. If you've been compromised, it's always a good idea to change your account password. But changing your API key isn't going to do squat. That doesn't matter. It's just that's not even how an API works. What an API key is, is an API key is basically something that ties your account to another website. Let me give you guys a really good example. So let's say we want to know where a local McDonald's is. So we go to McDonald's website and see right here it says it wants to know our location. So we're going to hit allow and I'm going to go here to locate. So you see right here is a map. Now this map is embedded on the website. Down here you'll see map data. Also my green screen's freaking out. Sorry about that. Let me fix that real quick. All right, sorry about that guys. I had to fix my green screen because it was freaking out. It's probably because I'm wearing a slightly green shirt, but no big deal. So this map is embedded onto the website. You can hopefully see this. My head isn't blocking. It's embedded on the website through Google Maps. Now, I've built websites before, and when you build a website and you want to embed Google Maps on your site, what you have to do is you have to make an account with Google Cloud, and then you have to request an API key. And then you have to install these certain extensions on your account for what services will be provided on the Google Maps. So then you go to your website, you code in the map, and you enter in the API key where it needs to be so that it can embed the map in your website. That's how an API key works. It basically ties this account and this information to this thing. It doesn't have anything to do with use with gaining access to the account or hacking it or anything like that. That's that's not how API keys work. If my AP, now an API key is private, right? You wouldn't have any you wouldn't want anybody to have that key. Because if somebody did have that key, then they could send you 
a phishing scam that looked like a legitimate one. Um, or what they could do in the case of if they had your Google Maps key is they could embed the maps on all these other different websites. And there's a limit to how many sites a Google Maps API is allowed to be on. So if somebody took your API key and put it on a bunch of different websites, well, then Google would start charging you for that. So if it was like more than 100 or something. So API keys are a private thing, but that doesn't tie in your account getting hacked. So if you go to scrap.tf, which is the sister side of marketplace.tf, there's an actually a pinned post here. There have been rising cases of what is known as an API scam causing users to trade items away to users that are impersonating our bots. We highly recommend that you check to see if any API keys exist in your account, and if there are, revoke them. To learn how to do this, visit this page, blah, 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 blah. We're saying your password will invoke a trade ban. Decline what you're doing, your account may be compromised. Okay, so basically what I'm saying here is the API key is not really going to affect anything. I wouldn't worry about revoking that if I were you. That's not really that big of a deal. Your password is a bigger deal. Now, I'm not saying go out and trade your password, change your password if you've traded with Marketplace or Scrap.tf recently. I'm not saying that at all. Okay, if you've used these two legitimate websites, you're not in danger. If you think you might have used a phishing site or signed into one, then yeah, you should change it. You should totally change your password. But if, you've, if you're just worried about it, but you've only done these actual legitimate two and you're sure it was just these two, then don't worry about it. You're fine. You're safe. You're not going to get hacked. You're not going to get your items lost. You don't need to reset your password and trigger the little trade ban or cool down or whatever you want to call it. It's not necessary. It's completely unnecessary. Um, so, like I like to do in these types of videos, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. Now, I've used marketplace.tf in the past couple of weeks or so. I'll sell refined metal on here or buy it. Uh, I like to buy dueling pistols because I'm trying to get the max dual badge. Dueling badge. Hold up. Dueling pistols. Yeah, I like to buy these. Man, it's gone up a lot. It's five cents. I remember when it used to be like three or four. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys. So this is my seller dashboard, right? I can I can deposit items here and then send them back to my account as as often as I like. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Okay, so this is the bot, right? It opens up this trade, bot 103. This is a legitimate marketplace.tf bot. This is not a scam one. What I am going to do is I'm going to trade my most valuable items to this bot to show you guys that it is safe. And that I believe in what I'm saying. I'm not just I'm not just trying to lead you guys astray or don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna prove it. Okay, so these are some of my most valuable items. These are this is an unusual, this is an un, this is an Australian, you know, you'll already know it's valuable. Uh what's another one? Malsh's present of wealth. Okay, these are my three unusuals. $15, $33, $65. That's how much th this is about a hundred dollars worth of items. Do you think I would risk $100 if I wasn't absolutely sure this was safe. No, of course not. Yes, this is a gift. Make offer. Additional confirmation needed. Okay, where is my phone? Oh, I'm using it as the camera. Rip. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to confirm that trade, so I had to pause the video momentarily, but we're back now. Um, and it should be in my account now. Okay, it's not. It sometimes takes a minute or so to actually go through and everything. But... Let me show you guys my inventory. There's the trade offer, um, sent offers, sent offer history. Okay, so use the marketplace.tf bot. Okay, so we're gonna give it a couple of minutes. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you guys the items are safely in my account. Okay, so it's been about two minutes, and as you can see, the items are now safely in my account, as pretty as you please, and I can go ahead and withdraw any of them at any time. Right back, right back into my account, which I'm gonna do because uh, these I I love these items. These things are great. I love my Australium. Uh, I love these unusuals. This is all stuff that my viewers have gifted me, and I really appreciate them too. So they're really great items. But yeah, how you saw me deposit items in here is the only way you should do it. The only way you should ever accept offers from these bots or deposit anything is to go to deposit, hit next. Hit this, then hit open a trade offer, and then when the trade offer opens in this window, this is what you should use. You should not use anything else. You should only use the real-time trade. That's the only time you should ever accept one of these offers or, or send one of these offers or anything. If you ever get 
look, it says they'll never send you a trade offer to take your items. Don't do not accept these. These are from scammers. And on scrap.tf, if you receive a random trade offer from a fake scrap.tf bot or someone who asks you to deposit items into our site, your account may be compromised. So basically, if you ever get like a little trade offer, basically like an incoming offer that says it's from scrap.tf or marketplace.tf and it's asking for you to have items and send you a little message that says, oh, hey, deposit your items into your account now or something like that, don't. Don't do it. It's a scam. Only do it in the real time through that window that pops up in your browser. And only select your items manually for what you want to enter in. That's legitimate. Anything else is a scam. And again, I'm not showing throwing shade at beard expense. We all make mistakes, and that's most likely what happened. But more than likely, his account was just compromised, and I'm assuming he doesn't really know a whole lot about APIs or about stuff like that, because it's not something you really know unless you're from that field. But again, I feel I feel bad for him. I hope he can get his items back, because that's an awful, awful thing to happen to anybody. And I honestly hope I never have to go through that, because that would just really, really stink. But yeah, guys, I want to make this quick little video clearing this up. Marketplace.tf and Scrap.tf are completely safe to use. And if you're worried about it or worried that you're going to get scammed or have your items stolen, don't worry about it. Just make sure you always use the site that has the official URL and you only trade items through the trade offer that pops up in the window. Those are security measures that are put in place in order to protect you. And those are the things that you need to be aware of. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until next time, I've been your host, Cast Gaming. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped, please do leave a like on it. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. I, 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 I